Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to yet another ceiling fan demonstration. Today I have got the Supreme Mark IV looking uh, totally better now. Uh, as you might be able to tell, I got a new pull chain for it. I put the canopy on this time. Still stealing a ball off the peninsula and the mounting bracket and everything. I don't really care. I can buy a new one. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So, yeah, here it is. Let me go ahead, get up close. Tassel is not original. I have the original pole chains, though. Um, I'm just not using them because they're like 20 feet long. Definitely a big exaggeration, but they are long. See, this fan uses a spinner motor. It's a pretty dang big one, though. Uh, I remember when I showed it to the guy at my local fan store, he didn't think it was worth saving, but... He said that the motor and it was pretty impressive though. These are definitely big motors. I have opened it up. Uh, I had to clean it because this thing was filthy. Pulled it out of the trash. Um, someone was throwing it away. Had a hunter spotlight kit on it. If you saw the other video where I was updating about this fan when it was still broken, then uh, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm filming this literally the day after the original uh, demonstration quick video on this fan went up. I basically all I did was I swapped out a pull chain I found a, at the cleanup. There was a whole bag full of capacitors, reverse switches and crap and I pulled this chain out of it and the model number was the same. I put it in and it works perfectly. So yeah, I mean I still need a ball and everything for it like I said but it is um it is good now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it on. Let me just uh, fix it. I don't think it's hanging straight definitely some hum off of it but I remember the other mark IV I think has the same issue well it's not really an issue it's just a noise it did take a tumble uh, off some boxes at one point and uh, one of the arms was bent and the um, actually I think mainly just the arm was bent but I was able to fix that oh the switch housing got bent but I was able to fix it and as far as the bent iron, you can hardly tell. There's still something going on there, but at this point, I don't even think it's from the bent or from the fall anymore. This is just natural at this point. This would have been wear and tear from when it was up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to medium speed now. On oh, definitely gets a little bit more noticeable when you turn it up. Is a pretty good fan. It moves a killer amount of air on all speeds. So I'm really glad that I was able to save this thing. A little bit of wobble, but the wobble isn't disastrous. Not on high speed either, which we'll see in a bit. The top of the blades do have a little bit of paint on them. It's not like I'd use the top anyways. If it is cane, chances are I'm gonna show it with cane. Unless, of course, I'm stealing the blades to use on another fan, which won't look good with Kane. That'd be, like, the only exception for me. I'm going to go ahead and put it up to high speed. With this hub, I don't know if it would be a good bedroom candidate, because at some point I may swap out the Delta. But with the noise and with the wobble, I don't know if it would be this one. Ooh. What was that? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get to the close up now. Stupid chair got my way. Oh god, I'm gonna have to kick this thing out of the way really quick. There we go. I have wanted just a basic GE event for some time, and yeah, this one came up at just the right time. What's great about it is it was free. Didn't even have to put any money into it. Well, I'm gonna have to buy it. And I don't even really need the bracket. I'll buy one anyways. I mean, overall, pretty good find. It moves a really good amount of air. I don't know how well you could hear it, but yeah, this fan is a really impressive one. And I'm, I'm super glad to have it. These are not the most common wall. GE vents like this are pretty common. Uh, yeah, the Supreme Mark IV is not. Supreme is a little bit obscure. There's plenty of Supremes out there, though. Except there's only two Mark IVs, mine and one other one, in Antique Brass. It is a pretty good fan. The blades are a little bit wider than the average, too. I 
I pulled out the Halsey cane blade by mistake. Uh, well, I wasn't too sure which one was which. I knew I had two. But yeah, the whole pattern on them were way smaller. This, These are much bigger and wider blades. It is pretty impressive. I'm, I'm really surprised by how much air this thing moves. I mean, it's a very unassuming fan. Person at the store didn't even think it was worth saving. I think I said that already, but... You know, I mean, really, it's a great ceiling fan. This one is probably one of my favorites that I own. I really do love the look of it, so I'm happy I'm going to be able to leave it up here for a little bit to enjoy it. It's definitely not a bad fan, and if you if you see one and you can tell that it's a Supreme Mark IV, go for it. I'm not going to say buy every, buy every GE event in the chance that it is. I don't know if it's that worth going after, but if you see one that's clearly labeled as a Supreme Mark IV, yeah, maybe try it out. They're really good fans, and I... I really do like it, and it's definitely better than some of the stuff that they make today, that's for sure. I mean, I've dealt with quite a few modern fans. I mean, actually, it's funny. So, a bunch of the people on, since this video is so short, I'm going to drag on a little bit here. I guess while I do, I'm just going to let it, uh, I'm going to let it run so you have something to watch. But, um, yeah, so I've talked to, like, two, three people who have all told me, oh, yeah, their fan broke. I was like, oh god, what precious collectible has been destroyed? Turns out it was like a modern hunter piece of crap and some other modern piece of crap. Both of which were like 10 years old or less as of right now. And uh, one of them, the iron broke. They, um, you might see how some of us will reach up to stop a fan. Sort of, uh, sort of like this. And the iron broke off of one of them. I'm... Gonna get a picture of it sent to me since it's a recent fan. I'm gonna try to source them a replacement. And the other fan, the wall control, just went kaput. Urge, I was like, okay, it's probably an old IntelliTouch. This is probably normal. No, seven year old ceiling fan. I'm like, what? I don't know what they're doing, but I'm not saying vintage is always better. There have definitely been a share of vintage fans that honestly, if they weren't collectible, I don't know what they'd be good for. <laughs> I mean, like, the Panama gear-driven one. That one, it's rare, it's collectible, it's really cool. But, I mean, it's just not a very good fan, you know? Like, there's plenty of fans like that, and vintage isn't always better. And maybe in some cases, I'm not too sure. I mean, vintage Casablanca versus new Casablanca. I, I don't know about that, because I've heard that the Duluth is pretty good, so I'm excited to put that up and test it. But, yeah. I'm going to go on and end this video. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the fan and hope you enjoyed hearing about my fan fail stories. <laughs> yeah, um, I, there won't be any updates on what happens as regards to those fans. It's just not important, really. Well, one of them's already in the trash. I'm not going to be taking either of them. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye.